Hey, what's up? It's Lizzie from The Verge. I'm currently wearing the Ceres jumpsuit from Wearable Media, and it's vibrating and lighting up right now based on asteroid activity near Earth. While other wearable companies usually track our bodies, Wearable Media wants to use the clothes that we wear on our bodies to track the world around us. We are focused on integrating meaningful data and interactions into garments with enhancement of technology. Cirrus is a jumpsuit that senses asteroids um, in real time. I'm the first person to ever wear this. Yeah, we just, we just finished this new prototype. It feels like I'm wearing what I assume a slimming spacesuit would be like. So we're putting on what's called a puck on the back of the jumpsuit. Uh, inside the puck, it has the microcontroller that's receiving the data um, and also sending data to the vibration motors and the LED. So the LED is communicating two types of information. One is the speed of the asteroid, another one is the distance. So the brighter it is, the closer it is to the Earth. Oh. And then the faster the LED is traveling, the faster the asteroids are traveling. So the vibrations that I'm feeling buzzing on my back, those are from different asteroids circling. It's basically an exploration of turning our human form into a celestial sensing body because you know space in many ways seems imperceptible to us. So we wanted to create a story like how can we bring the awareness of it onto our bodies and know that we live in you know a greater cosmos and, and the exploration of that. The cool thing to me about this is um, it can change from minute to minute, yeah. basically, like the vibrations and the lights. You're, I'm kind of existing in, this, in a constantly changing thing, which is cool, because my normal clothes don't do that. Yeah. Also, I feel a little bit comforted, mm -hmm. kind of like a heavy blanket yeah. that randomly vibrates. Are these all parts that you use in this particular? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then here we have different versions of the puck design. So this one from the left side is the beginning of the timeline, basically. And this is closest to the final puck, which is what you're wearing right now. And so what's inside the puck? There is one microcontroller, which you can think of as a brain of this garment. It has the Bluetooth um, communication that's wirelessly talking to a mobile app that can up get the updated uh, nearest asteroid data on your shoulder, which is oh, okay. um, the that vibration makes... motor. So the raw vibration motor is a small disc that keeps, vib uh, keeps vibrating. Yeah, so if you touch that one, you can see. This is a really strong, would this be yeah. like the strongest level? Yeah, that's the yeah. strongest level. Um, luckily, we don't have any nearest asteroids around us that's close, that close. If I was out and about doing something and my whole shirt started vibrating this much, I'd get kind of nervous. Next, with a little help from the people around me, I eventually managed to try on Audrey. It's an augmented reality shirt that reveals the user's Instagram aura. I couldn't tell what my aura looked like, but the people around me said it looked cool. So when uh, you're wearing it and when we hold the app in front of you and we can see all the graphics that's generated from our Instagram account, we're using code to generate these uh, particles that's like floating around you and the colors are reflecting our Instagram posts. Our garments, we want our audience, when they wear it, they feel this is something they're passionate about. They know the designers cares about something that they also cares about as well. Yeah. Um, and they feel a sense of exploration and bravery and excitement when they wear it too. Wearable media's prototypes still feel pretty unusual. Even in New York City, you probably won't run into someone wearing an asteroid jumpsuit. But all together, they paint a pretty interesting picture of what kinds of clothes we could be wearing 20, 30, 50 years from now. So the Ceres jumpsuit is going to be available in September of 2018 to buy. Until then, keep it locked to TheVerge.com. And we're about to go meet the founders of Wearable Media Studios. <laughs> Sick, that was great. This is a hallway. Damn, this is a cool building. Ooh. That's us. <laughs>